Hey everybody, welcome back to New Jang City, where I have made a couple of miscalculations that have damaged my progress and damaged my pride a little bit. But no worries, I have adjusted, I have corrected the mistakes, and let's see where things are now. So I'm still working on finishing up the area around the aquarium and actually getting that integrated in properly, and colors may look a little bit different this time around. I've, I've switched to a camera that should be able to capture a lot better color in these low light conditions, but I still need to adjust to that so things may not be perfect for a little bit. It'll take a little bit of trial and error on that. But what I've been working on mostly is getting the surround to, to work and to fit in. And that's where I made my big mistake previously. And it had been an, an ongoing long-term mistake down there. So I've got the, the main train loop. And let me bring in a little extra light so you can see that a bit better. I've got the main train loop with a sharp turn that occurs right there. I mean, most Lego official uh, track turns are rather sharp, but that one is one of the sharper ones that you can do. And what I had not considered is that longer train cars will cut that turn. We'll, we'll cut into where the wall is to the left pretty significantly. So I ended up having to undo all the wall work that I did down there, as well as this cut in kind of the window space where you can see into the aquarium all that both layers of that and to adjust since i had brought this end in i also needed to kind of balance that off and i brought this end in as well so it was a bunch of rework also included the outside of the the tunnel face over here so all of this has to has to work together harmoniously and i still need to do a little bit more with the dark gray inside of there i need to figure out exactly what i'm going to do with the dark gray up higher on but uh, i am in a much better place now where it's much closer to done and closer to the way that i really want it to be uh, how it's cut it, it feels actually pretty good to me it feels pretty much like i want it to uh, just as a a viewer experience here so that gets you a little, little more light in there so that you can see what has actually been done ultimately you know we won't need that light because when we come to actually view this space there won't be extra artificial light it'll just be as it is and it'll really glow the the aquarium itself will really glow and that's what i want i want that to really stand out in this relatively dark corner of the layout but i've got a couple of of layers of blocking bricks in there to make sure that you don't see the lights if you get down low enough you will still see the light strips up above but i'll, I'll add just a little bit more in there to block that off but this is this is really starting to come together the main train tracks out here are where they belong where they will be in final form the track well not the track but the the space for the little mini zoo train to go is where it needs to be and i've got like a blocker at the end down here so if you really lean in you can see the the edge you know the back edge and there's a little little display there a little non-interactive display and more importantly out this way you can see a little uh, little nod to the original zoo. A lot of viewers had, had asked for this, or at least a handful uh, had asked for me to keep the, the old sign. Hopefully you can see it in there. I don't know if I'm getting enough light on that, but yeah, you should be able to see it. The, the old orca sign that was on the side of the original aquarium. So that has been preserved and is used as just part of the wall to make that not too plain. And then over here, you can see how the, the main train tunnel continues through. And then what's most important about that end down there is that when we come back over to the, the actual exterior zoo space, now this is showing how that's all going to connect up. And you're already seeing the edge of, of what I had worked on for the aquarium and the aquarium uh, pedestrian walkway. That comes right out very near the hole that I punched through this, this hill some time ago. Obviously, the hill is, is not back down on the ground where it needs to be because I still want to be able to fill in those spaces. And that's why when you look around here, a lot of these bricks are, are separated. That's just the entire hill has just been wedged up, you know, as, as if with a, with a pry bar or something. The whole thing is in a kind of precarious position right now. But ultimately, I'll get all that to relax back down once I get this entrance here just right but that's where the pedestrian walk space goes so between these two black bricks and then to the right of that is where the little zoo train comes through and there'll be just an additional one layer of, of wall for that and that's going to integrate right into the main zoo space now i have cleared out a lot of the stuff that was here temporarily kind of showing 
my ideas for where different exhibits would be. Put in the green base plates that I had uh, sat here. I mean, they're not really attached or anything, but you know, I needed to clear out a bunch of stuff to put those in. Those are the ones that I want to have there. And I decided for sure on what height that I'm going to use for the, the main walking level. So kind of the ground level for pedestrians, for visitors in here, which is going to be very similar, if not identical to the old zoo. But I'm going to take advantage of, of that a little bit more so that some of the exhibits will actually be indented, will go down into the ground. It'll also give me some space to build up some, some multi-layer water so you can have some, some suggestions of, of depth uh, for that. I think that'll help out a lot. But yeah, I'm getting very close to the point where I will start really working on the main portion of the zoo here. I do want to have some form of sign for the aquarium there that's visible from the outside, but you know, do some rock work here, get the ramp for the pedestrians because they do they actually do go down to get into the aquarium space, whereas the zoo train stays at, at its original level. And I get something in for this wall over here and then start pushing all this back down so that it is nice and, and secure and where it needs to be and these gaps over on the side will be removed. And yeah, then I'll be moving forward again. I'm definitely very much looking forward once again to working out here and doing some real substantive work with this, because of the stuff that I've done, the foundational stuff that I've done for the aquarium and you know, figuring out how its walkway works and how it's going to integrate, I know now that I'm going to be able to do a better job over here than I was originally planning on. So that's good. Things have moved forward in a very positive way. And that's it. That's all that I have for, uh, for an update. I believe that's all that I have for an update here. I'm looking around, looking around. Is there, is there anything else that I had? I'd worked on or started to work on or started to think about. And I think the answer to that is no at this time. I may have moved some of those buildings a little bit more just uh, figuring out how I'm going to end up further building out the industrial area. But I'm going to continue to focus mostly here, take some occasional breaks to work in the cyberpunk district. But otherwise, this is the next big thing as soon as I get the, the surround figured out, which is almost, almost done. So thanks for watching this. Sorry, I don't have more serious you know, forward momentum to show you. But like I said, I had made some pretty mis pretty big miscalculations and mistakes down there. They had to be fixed up. Otherwise, I was going to just continue to pay for it for the rest of the rest of time. So train's going to be happy. Aquarium is going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. Hope you're going to be happy as well. I'll talk to you again soon.